Tell me a tell, do you see the road? I'm to my soul and to be the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this eye transition instead of After Effects. Now if you don't have any close up footage of like an eye or something similar to this then I'll leave a link in the description below where you can go ahead and download this and basically what you want to do is overlay your footage of the eye onto your first clip here and as you can see it's just overlaid over that footage so once you have that we can go here and create a mask. I like to go here and use the ellipse tool. So just go and left click this and you can hold it so you can get the ellipse tool and then just kind of create a rough mask around the eye here. And we can bring this to none so we can actually see the rest of the footage and then kind of just move the points around so it fits the eye here. So once you have a good mask for the first frame, then we can just right click our mask and hit track mask and then analyze forward. But as you can see, it starts to mess up once the eye actually closes here. So I'm going to go back a few frames right around here. And let's just delete those frames that got messed up during that tracking. And we're just going to have to manually adjust this mask here. So going over like every few frames here, I'm just going to adjust the mask. All right, so I just went through animating the rest of the frames here. So you can see the mask follows the eye here as it closes. Now what we want to do is bring this mask to subtract. So now we have a cutout of the eye here. I'm going to feather it to around like 60%. And then also right when the eye closes where you can't see the actual eyeball anymore, let's just go ahead and split this layer. So if you hit Control Shift D, it'll split the layer and we can go into the mask and just delete this. So now we want to duplicate our original layer with the mask here. So just hit Control D and on the bottom layer, Let's bring the subtract to none for that mask. So now you can see the eyeball is back here. But now what we want to do is animate the eye to slowly kind of fade in. So let's have the opacity start at zero. And if you don't know how to open up the opacity, just hit T on your keyboard. So let's click the stopwatch here at the start. Then let's go to the end and bring this to 100%. We could even go in here and hit F9 to easy ease them and then go into the graph editor, kind of smooth out this uh, animation. And what I'm going to do is actually go back into the mask properties on that uh, top layer here. And for the expansion here, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. So it's kind of inside the eye here. You can go ahead and play around with that. So there we go. Now we have pretty much the basics of this effect done. Now we just have to do like the zoom in animation and to do that. What I like to do is create a new camera. So go to layer, new camera, just use the default properties and then also create a null object. Now let's parent the camera to that null and make the null 3D. And then for all the other footage here, just select all that and make all of this 3D as well. And we're going to be using this null object to control the camera. So let's open up the position on that null and use the Z value here to zoom into the eye. You can also kind of position it to actually fit in the eye here. So that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and set a keyframe. Then let's go back to the end here where you can see the eye is now visible. Now let's right click this and hit reset. And now it zooms out from the eye. But as you can see, the footage is now all messed up here. So, so we just want to hit S on that original footage right here to scale it down. And you just want to kind of make it fit with the frame here. You can move it around like this. All right, so that's looking good. But now when it zooms out, you get this like obvious border around the footage here. So an easy way to fix this is going into the effects and presets and just use motion tile. So apply it onto that original footage here and let's make the output width 300 as well as the height and let's mirror the edges there. All right, so that's already looking a lot better. As you can see, it fills in the entire eye and you don't get those black borders around the edges. Now for this camera animation, I'm just gonna select the position values and easy ease them once again. Then let's go into the graph editor. Now you can see this graph looks a bit different from the value graph because we are in the speed graph right here. I'm gonna create a graph where it speeds up and then slows back down. And I want this animation to be pretty quick. So I'm gonna have these points pretty close together. Now, when we play this back, you can see what it looks like. And there we go, that already looks super smooth and clean. And that's without motion blur enabled. So let's go ahead and toggle on motion blur for these clips here. Let's just select them and turn on the motion blur. And here is what it looks like with the motion blur. And you might actually see part of the eye in the starting frames here. Um, in the top left, you can kind of see the eyelashes here. So I'm just gonna go into the opacity on this top layer and just slowly keyframe it in. 
and that should kind of help fix that issue. There we go. Now to sort of bring everything together, I added a VHS effect to kind of bring everything together. It also just kind of makes sense for this footage that I'm using here. So you can go ahead and mess around with some different filters and overlays for this footage. If you want to use the same VHS effect that I'm using here, you can go ahead and download it. Link down in the description below. Now that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.